Jason Powered Again, and this video is for Jason. Jason asks, how do I get user input into the application, into the workflow? And I'm going to show you the way, uh, the way I like to do it. Uh, I like to start with the set variable command because I want whatever user input I get to be available to me from within PowerShell. So I'll just drag it over from the toolbox. I'm going to give that a name. Uh, I'll use the name uh, toast. That will be the name of my variable. And now what I want to do is I want whatever data the, the, the user entered to be assigned to toast. So therefore I want the value property of set variable to be something the user inputs. Now the, the quick and easy way to do that shortcut is this little blue arrow here. If you just double click on that little blue arrow, it'll bring up this uh, parameter wizard and you can say right away it's an input parameter, next, you know, next, finish, and you're all done. Uh, the other way to do that is when you've got the activity selected is you just hit the parameters button and, it'll, and, uh, and you can make a new parameter this way and just you know, walk through doing the same exact thing through this wizard. Uh, but this is the shortcut, little blue arrow here, bring it up. So at this point we have an input parameter for the whole workflow. So we can use and we're assigning it to the variable toast so we can use that. So let's go ahead and do the, let's go ahead and use it to do something simple, we'll write output, some silly string, uh, silly message and we'll include the toast right there all right so if we hit play we'll see that it should prompt us for the input it does so we'll put in asdf and you can see in the output window we have a silly message asdf now of course if you deploy this workflow somewhere else and those parameters become input parameters to the application so in this case we'll build an executable and we have this json.exe right json.exe we pass in some some uh, some text some text data and you see that some text data gets passed in as a parameter in fact uh, you should be able to see usage information uh, all that stuff is uh, all that this text is, is something you can set in that parameter wizard you saw before uh, again if you deploy this to a commandlet uh, the same thing applies we will get those parameters that they get passed through to the, the commandlet you build so when we now we're going to have a get JSON command. If we do help get JSON, you'll see that it's got a dash value that we're getting right there. So let's do it. Get JSON value from Barak. And you can see it's going to silly message from Barak. So, so that's it. That's how you get data from the user into the workflow uh, the simplest way. Now that method of, of binding a uh, property to an input parameter of the workflow applies to every single activity. Any activity that's here in the toolbox uh, that you see a little blue icon next to, which is all of them, uh, it can be you know can be bound to user input or turned into output. So uh, there you go, Jason. Hope they answered your question.